A prison sentence looks certain for two New Zealanders filmed wrestling a Thai police officer to the ground and taking his gun. Thai police say Hamish and Oscar Day will be banned from the country after the incident in Phuket, but a local journalist says the humiliating pictures will almost certainly lead to custodial sentences before they're booted out. Adam Hollingworth reports. Before they even get to court, Hamish and Oscar Day must overcome trial by media with these humiliating pictures of a Royal Thai police officer having his gun taken off him. There's a sense of, that foreigners come in, do as they please and don't respect Thai culture. And um, the, the two New Zealand brothers could not have picked a worse time to pull their stunt. Bangkok Post journalist Dave Kendall says that altercation, now streaming on thousands of screens in two countries, is not a good look for the brothers. You know, optically, it was, it was terrible. Thais are a very proud nation. So there's really not a more humiliating image you can imagine than, you know, a Royal Thai police officer being wrestled to the ground by a big foreigner. It just doesn't look good. Police were initially outraged when the brothers sped past the Chalong police station on rented motorbikes. Which is a sign of great disrespect to the Thai authorities. <laughs> police say the pair have been blacklisted from Thailand and they want them detained until trial on five charges. Usually unruly foreigners simply get deported, but not this time. It's got such great publicity and it's become an, an image now. It's become um, a really hot topic. So I, I think they may spend some jail time in Thailand. It's reported Oscar Day on the right is an MMA fighter. I suggest if they're with a, a bunch of Thai men in a big room, they might have a chance to uh, practice their mixed martial arts skills. Their father, Lawrence Day, is a Hamilton businessman. But Dave Kendall says that may not help when foreigners have been accused in a spate of high-profile violent crimes. The Thai press has totally picked up on the narrative of these are rich, spoiled foreigners coming in, doing as they please, not respecting local Thai culture. Kendall's best advice, apologies go a long way in Thailand. I think if the brothers really showed penitence and made some big apologies, um, I think they might be able to leave sooner rather than later. But not before it seems likely they spend time at His Majesty's pleasure. Adam Hollingworth, News Hub.